I saw somebody ask about uh, how to download the track for the upcoming U.S. Air Force Museum race uh, in Dayton, Ohio that we're putting on. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through how to do that through Velocidrone here. Uh, first place to start is the track editor. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to select download track down here at the bottom. And the easiest way I've found to find it is just to type in USAF here. Hit the search button and you'll see that uh, Rab FPV put this together uh, 213 a couple days ago. I don't know if there will be any more updates. Uh, there probably are a few things that need to be tweaked. Uh, but go ahead and click download. It takes like a split second to do that. Then close. And then we're going to go back. And I find the best way to, to fly this is just Nemesis mode. Super quick. You don't have to select any other settings. It's just a three lap race and it, it pits you against other people on the leaderboard for the track. So select Nemesis mode. I've been choosing the uh, Crazy B here. Uh, go ahead and hit select quad. And then to find the track, make sure this is set to all tracks and any class so it's not filtering against anything. And you may want to uncheck the uh, favorite option here. And then again, just type in USAF and it will filter it, but it might be a good idea to select that favorite option so you can find it easier in the future. And then we're going to go ahead and hit select scenery. It's going to take it a moment to load up here. And there's going to be probably a few things you'll want to tweak to the quad if you haven't played around with Velocidrome before. Uh, first thing is to go in here to change quad settings. Uh, the important things in here that you want to change are your camera angle mix, uh, which is the same as uh, your your yaw roll mix uh, in Betaflight. Again, it, I think it is like camera angle is what it's listed as. Generally, you want this to be like half of your actual camera angle. Uh, so set those two settings. Hit OK. Don't click the X, otherwise it won't save it. And then you'll also want to come up here to this gear for advanced drone settings whenever this decides to save and move on. And the important things you're going to want to change here are going to be your angle strength and limit and your yaw rate if you are an angle mode pilot. And I'd also suggest doing some kind of throttle expo. Um, I personally do 65 and then set this to kind of whatever hovering the hover percent of your quad is. Uh, you may want more, but probably less than what I've got here. Uh, and then go ahead and save those settings. And then I've got uh, starting a race on a switch here. And uh, you'll see that it's got other pilots on the leaderboard here. And I'm going to just fly this slowly. Uh, this is the Whoop Cannon here. It's going to be an air-boosted uh, um, tunnel. Uh, kind of a, It's a hyperdrive gate. It's got LEDs shooting through it, like shooting stars. Uh, and it will, it will give you quite a boost flying through it. You'll want to probably give it more pitch and throttle uh, than you would if it was you know, just a standard tunnel that you were flying through. And then we've got a little carousel of ring, uh, gates around the uh, landing gear. A little chicane right underneath the fuselage. And then we're flying over the tail and under the wing of an F-85. And then we're going to go through a double cube section from Weebleed FPV. And then into whoop, a tunnel of gates. And then we have our classic ladder that we always run at our races. And we usually pair it with our Joker Gate, which will also be on the track. The Joker Gate is a rotating smiley face that uh, rotates counterclockwise, and you're going to want to hit it when the mouth starts to appear on the right side uh, of the, uh, the stand it's on. And you're allowed to do that once per race. And then this little this hatch section, the that gate that's in the middle that's elevated, that's actually because there is a rail in there. So it is going to be kind of difficult. This is an infinity gate that I just flew through, a tunnel full of mirrors. So if you crash in there, it can be uh, a little disorienting, not knowing which way is up or which way is out in some cases. And again, we're going back through the chicane section and then to the F-85. If you time it right, you can just blast the throttle as you drop through it. And then again, the we bleed double cube section. And then a tunnel of gates, and then back to the ladder where the Joker is. And that Joker cut off quite a bit of time because you don't have to hit any of these three gates. And you go straight here and then into the fuselage section. And then we're going to go on to our final lap. Again, whoop cannon. 
Oh, that's embarrassing. Five tail wing the cube section with cross traffic here on the bottom and tunnel to ladder. And back up into the fuselage one last time. There is a rail that runs right down the middle like this, so it won't be as quite as wide open. And then start finish gate. See it's not an improvement for me. I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks to RabFUD for putting this together. If you have any questions, post them in the uh, Facebook group, and I'll see everybody uh, in two weeks.